he or she moves up and eventually move to the fifth act in which they are ready to exterminate an individual. Yeah. Go on, just speak, yeah, okay. speak to it from that, from that perspective. And thank you very much. And, and that is indeed how Dr. Gordon Allport would see it. That, that first person that might have this feeling or dislike toward another group but wouldn't act on it could be a potentially a part of going into membership or just going to a group and when things are being said, they might listen to it and agree with it and mm -hmm. vote for it, but a subgroup of that group might move on to the next level and then the next level to the next level of physical attack mm -hmm. where they might make a decision to go out and do it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where the prescription for racism of those earlier mm -hmm. attacks, the listening audience need to understand. Mm -hmm. When that group of people start to go out and they seek out a group of people, whoever they might be, based on certain physical characteristics mm -hmm. or where they might be socially located within a community, mm -hmm. that they know they are targeting that group of people, or if in a hiring process, they are not allowing a group of people based on the ethnic group that they have checked that they are, or gender that, that they are, then that's when the racism or the sexism enters into the discussion about the, the whole prescription of racism mm -hmm. within the society in which we live in. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look in our larger problems of reoccurring patterns, of say police officers that are disproportionately mm -hmm. killing African-American males, mm -hmm. I want us to keep in mind this act on prejudice because I think if we interviewed say any of the officers in the rank and file line, all of them would say, well, no, we would not go out and act toward any other citizen in any different way than we do with another person. Mm -hmm. But out of that group, you can have someone that in their private life would avoid Mm -hmm. And then in their private life would do some discriminatory mm -hmm. acts. Mm -hmm. And this becomes a part of their subconscious, looking at the social psychology of it. Mm -hmm. And when they are out in the force and then when they are out to stop someone, that individual may not be doing anything that is being degrading or mm -hmm. not following the rules. Mm -hmm. Or even if they were not following the rules mm -hmm. and you have to shoot them, do you have to shoot to kill? Or could you shoot in the leg and they fall down mm -hmm. and then they couldn't do anything? But is there something? Something in that physical attack that emerges mm -hmm. from how some of the preceding acts of prejudice mm -hmm. may have been in the environment as you grew up that might cause you then to shoot to kill mm -hmm. or after you're down to continue to shoot 15 additional times. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so in a real sense, if you've got a, a group, uh, hypothetically, yes. of uh, 20 people, yes. and as they move from one stage yes. to another, you might uh, have only, what, 15 move up to that second stage yeah. and then uh, 10 to that third stage and uh, yeah. five to that uh, fourth stage. And that fifth stage in which there is an idea of extermination, yeah. you have only one or two That's out it. of those 20, but all might be considered to be what? Prejudice, Prejudice. but they've moved from one Go stage on. to another stage. Yeah, that's absolutely uh -huh. right. Mm -hmm. And now, as we are seeing this radicalization of other groups mm -hmm. that are probably experiencing within the society or system in which we live in, mm -hmm. some of those acts of the lesser stage mm -hmm. of prejudice, they may then start thinking how can I get back at that mm -hmm. by this physical attack? Mm -hmm. So, and then I guess my point is, it can go from one ethnic group to the next mm -hmm. ethnic group, or I, I hate to use this word, Uncle Tom, sometimes you can find people within one ethnic group uh -huh. that the dominant group can get another person to act and behave and think and say things in a certain way. Mm -hmm. I guess you want to say they've been bought out mm -hmm. or they may have assimilated to a certain degree that they may not, try to understand that particular ethnic group, although they belong to mm -hmm. that ethnic group themselves. Mm -hmm. However, going back to this issue of the problem that we are seeing in our society today, many people that might be the victims of it are now turning that into another type of act on prejudice mm -hmm. and physically attacking. Mm -hmm. So I hate to date it, but as we have this conversation, there have been many types of attacks that have occurred in America and mm -hmm. throughout the other country. And some people in their minds may be acting this thing out in a more physical or to the point of exterminating mm -hmm. another group of people or the idea that another, even entire society, they could regardless of who is in the building, mm -hmm. if they are just called American, they want to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So that's an extermination, an act on prejudice mm -hmm. as well. So, so do you, would, you, would you say, uh, uh, Dr. Sanford, that uh, many individuals 
do have an opportunity. It's really mm -hmm. a, 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 a decision that an individual has to make as to whether he is willing to move from level one to level mm -hmm. two to level to, to the final level. That that is really an individual's uh, decision, but it, it, it it's uh, sort of formed by the group itself, yep. by the kind of folks that you're involved with. Is that, would that be a correct assessment? Of that it? is very, very correct. Mm -hmm. And one of the things since we are in higher education is to try to have diversity in education mm -hmm. so that that group that's because of legal segregation hundreds of years ago, things are still pretty much that way today, or people might still be separated and might have those attitudes, that through a system of education, mm -hmm. that they will change their attitudes mm -hmm. and values in a different way and we have indeed seen that mm -hmm. we've seen that with the millennials and how our Supreme Court now allows this discrimination that was going to a gay brothers lesbian sisters of being married now they, they changed that law mm -hmm. because there was a change in people's attitudes that were born in the 80s and the 90s mm -hmm. and so the same thing with the civil rights movement when there was an act of prejudice of discrimination as well as physical attack mm -hmm. was a social movement mm -hmm. that went on and on laws were changed and now Supposedly, there are improvements to the mm -hmm. point that we have a first African American president, mm -hmm. two term president. Mm -hmm. So we see change with the whole infusion, but you have to understand that those things are there. Mm -hmm. And this places someone in a high authority level to have to understand that much of the antilocution is still very present, that mm -hmm. first level within our society of mm -hmm. people just feeling in a very prejudiced way. Mm -hmm. And you can see within the political campaign that's going on at the very present time, when a person figures out there's a whole group of people, regardless of their, their education, economic status, they mm -hmm. might feel depressed or suppressed, and they might start thinking in a way, and then they go out and they meet and they rah-rah about it. So you can see some of the people with their flags up and everything that Ready might Ready to, to move them. to the next. That's right section yes, i mean it. next uh, step of, of yes. it and and so it's a, a thing of progression you it know is. and 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 if a fellow if a person can uh, exclude himself or get yes. away from that kind of thing he won't have an opportunity to progress but as yes. long as he is involved in the middle of it he goes up with the rest of the group that's is right. that what we're saying that's what we're saying and we think we have a better america uh -huh. with more diversity because we are strength in numbers strength mm -hmm. in everybody being along and getting mm -hmm. along and we have the institution of religion that's supposed to help everybody mm -hmm. have this type of ethic about mm -hmm. ourselves but the question becomes as um, Max Weber would say in his classic book the Protestant ethic mm -hmm. in the spirit of capitalism mm -hmm. how does capitalism prevent us from being able mm -hmm. to get along and, and and so in a real sense uh, uh, diversity yes is the most important element uh, in terms of bringing people together and more diversified a, a group is yes then the less likely they are to be able to move from they might move yeah. from uh, level one to level two yes but if there's quite a bit of diversity they're not going to go up to level that's five that's right and, uh, and and intellectual diversity uh -huh. you can be you can live in another area uh -huh. but intellectually you have to understand Same. about uh -huh. the culture of other people uh -huh. and then that would let you have a, d a different level of respect mm -hmm. that you would not move into wanting to be discriminatory mm -hmm. because intellectual that's why we want in school schools to have a diversified curriculum mm -hmm. from kindergarten all the way through the 12th grade and through undergrad. So when if you lived in an isolated area, you still have some intellectual awareness mm -hmm. about diversity. Mm -hmm. and, and Dr. Semper, uh, we're getting ready to end this show for today. But let me thank you for bringing that excellent information, because I think that it, it, it sort of demonstrates mm -hmm. some of the things that we see. The more people become involved yes. with discrimination, the more they are likely to not have any problems with of discrimination, mm -hmm. but it. if they become involved with diversity, mm -hmm. they're going to become more what diversified. You see, that's and I it. think that that's that, that's good.